welcome to Infinity Learn Neat by Sri Chaitanya. So today in this particular session, we will be quickly uh, revising the topics that we have already, uh, you know, read in detail about the chapter Human Health and Diseases. And majorly, we will be solving uh, all the questions from various topics that we have covered in the Human Health and Diseases. Okay. So this chapter was from grade 12, which we have already wrapped up and we have read each and every topic in utmost detail. We have covered the entire NCRT as well. So today in this session, we will be just calling out the topics that we have already covered and majorly we will be solving the questions related to the respective topics, right? So let's get started. Now from the chapter, Human Health and Diseases, Firstly, we actually understood what exactly is disease, right? Then we understood that being healthy, it basically means that you have to be physically, mentally, socially, and emotionally fit, okay? If you are fit in all the various perspectives, then only you will be considered, uh, considered as a healthy person, right? Then we spoke about various types of diseases, viral disease, bacterial disease, protozoan disease, Helminthic disease, fungal disease, etc. Right? So we have understood that how various pathogens attack our body and the pathogen which is the causative agent. So that type of disease will be caused and we have also read about few examples of it. Right? So if you want the detailed version or the summarized version, both types of the videos are already available on the channel. Please go through the live session if you haven't uh, already attended that. Plus, if you want the summarized version of these topics, so that is present in the recorded session, right? Uh, for each and everything, you already have a playlist on the channel. Please go through it. Then, in detail, we have studied about AIDS, cancer, where we talked about both the types of tumors, that is, Benning tumor, malignant tumor, right? In AIDS as well, we have spoken that how exactly the life cycle of the HIV virus takes place, right? And what is the difference between being HIV positive and then, you know, uh, being an AIDS patient, correct? So we have uh, talked about that also in detail. Then we have covered each and everything about immunity where we have spoken about active and passive immunity we have also discussed about innate and acquired immunity autoimmunity as well We've spoken about allergies, different types of antibodies, and lastly, drug and alcohol abuse. Also, specifically, how is it related to adolescence? Correct? So these are the topics which we have already covered in detail and today in this particular session we will be discussing and we will be solving majority of the questions that will be covering all these respective topics that we have covered in this particular chapter, right? So here's the first question. The yellowish fluid which is known as the colostrum secreted by memory glands of mother during the initial days of lactation has abundant antibodies which is IgA. 
to protect the infant. So this type of immunity is called. It's pretty obvious whenever ready-made antibodies or pre-formed antibodies are given to a person or even an infant, that type of immunity would be considered as passive immunity because active immunity is the immunity where the antibodies are being prepared on their own in the person's body, right? Next, identify the wrong statement with reference to immunity. When exposed to antigen, living or dead, antibodies are produced in the host body. It is called active immunity. This is a correct statement. When ready-made antibodies are directly given, it is called passive immunity. This is also correct. Active immunity is quick and gives full response. This is not correct because active immunity is not quick. Active immunity takes a lot of time because the antibodies are being prepared on their own, right? Fetus receives some antibodies from the mother. It's an example of passive immunity. This is also correct, correct? So only the third statement over here is the wrong statement. Colostrum, the yellowish fluid secreted by mother during the initial days of lactation is very essential to impart the immunity to the newborn infants because it contains, just now we have seen, IgA, immunoglobulin A, right? Next, antivenom injection contains preformed antibodies while polio drops that are administered into the body, it contains, it actually contains attenu uh, attenuated pathogens which basically means that they are not completely active, they are weakened ones, right? Now, which of the following immunoglobulins does constitute the largest percentage in the human milk? Just now we have seen. In the human milk, IgA or immunoglobulin A antibody will be present, right? Next, short-lived immunity acquired from mother to the fetus across placenta or through mother's milk to the infant is categorized as obviously it's going to be passive immunity because preformed antibodies are being transferred from the mother to the infant, right? Now, which of the following is not an autoimmune disease? We know that rheumatoid arthritis, vitiligo, psoriasis. So only Alzheimer's disease is the one which is not an autoimmune disease. Autoimmune disease is basically that disease where the cells of our body, they start attacking their own cells. Okay, They do not understand, they do not differentiate between self and non-self over here. Right? Next. In higher vertebrates, the immune system can distinguish self cells and non-self. If this property is lost due to genetic abnormality and it attacks self cells, then it leads to Obviously, it leads to autoimmune disease where rheumatoid arthritis is one of the examples, right? Malt, which is mucosa-associated lymphoid tissue, constitutes about dash percent of the lymphoid tissue in the human body. So, it is 50% of the tissue is malt, which is mucosa-associated lymphoid tissue, right? HIV that causes AIDS first starts destroying, it starts destroying the helper T lymphocytes. More the helper T lymphocytes will be destroyed, there will be more number of the HIV virus, right? Now, at which stage of HIV infection does one usually show symptoms of AIDS? So, it's not uh, fixed, but when HIV damages large number of helper T lymphocytes, because more the number of helper T lymphocytes will be destroyed, there would be more number of HIV virus, right? Which of the following statements is correct with respect to AIDS over here? So, if I look at all the statements, the HIV can be transmitted through eating food together? No. Drug addicts, addicts are least susceptible? No. AIDS patients are being fully cured? Sent per cent with proper care and nutrition? Not possible. The causative HIV retrovirus enters helper T lymphocytes, thus reducing their numbers. Only the fourth statement, the last statement is correct over here, right? Which of the following is not a property of the cancerous cells, whereas the remaining there are? They compete with normal cells for vital nutrients. This is correct. They do not remain confined in the area of formation. That is also correct. That is how the metastasis takes place. They divide in an uncontrolled manner. That's the main reason they are known as cancerous cells. They show contact inhibition. No. They do not show contact inhibition and that is the main reason that they grow in an uncontrolled manner and that is how the property of metastasis comes into the picture when it comes to the cancerous cells, right? Next, which one of the following statement is correct over here? Benning tumor shows the property of metastasis? No, malignant tumor shows that. 
हेरोइन एक्सेलरेट बॉडी फंक्शन नो मेलेग्नेंट ट्यूमर में एक्सिबिट मेटास्टेसिस ये दिस इज द ओनली करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट patients who have undergone surgery are given cannabinoids to relieve pain no they are being given morphine not cannabinoids cirrhosis of liver is caused by the chronic intake of alcohol correct a person showing unpredictable moods outburst of emotion quarrel some behavior and conflicts with others is usually suffering from borderline personality disorder okay these are the symptoms so that was it most of the questions most of the topics we have covered so that was it for today's session and that is how we have completely wrapped up uh, with the revision and also the questions of the chapter human health and diseases now from next week we will be starting a new chapter from grade 11 that's going to be excretory products and their elimination okay now before i wrap up I would again like to remind you about the All India Test Series Pack, which you can get only in rupees two thousand nine hundred and ninety nine only if you apply the coupon code that is YouTube fifty off. So what you have to do, you have to uh, check the description, go to the link. click there and you have to apply this coupon code youtube50 off so you can get this uh, test series pack where you get 27 all india test 20 online neat full syllabus mock test 25 topic wise pyqs and then you can actually analyze your performance also because you get the performance report also right so that was it for today's session if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please do it right away press the bell icon so that you do not miss any upcoming videos which are going to be really helpful for your preparation thank you